Okay, so let's start the euro dollar now. Now, if you look at the let's start from the chart. Okay, for those of you that are in the in the webinar, uh, please feel free to shout out or ask any questions. Yeah, because a, a webinar is good only if it's interactive. Um, if if not, I mean, it's the best time to learn the live markets, isn't it? In terms of price action. So, if you have any other questions, please please feel free to shout out. Now, let's see where we are on the euro dollar. Okay, so if you look at this weekly chart, right, and if you pull back all the way to May or February 2015, you can see that we has been stuck in this big mess for the longest of time, longer, longest, longest of time. In fact, I've not touched euro dollar for a long time because it's just one big consolidation. So, key key support level we're looking at right now is around the one one sorry one one uh, zero zero, okay one one zero zero. But you can see the weekly chart is consolidating, and if one one zero zero breaks, okay, very very likely. We are coming down back to the 108 level here, very likely. Okay, let's go to the daily chart right now. So daily chart, you can see this support once it was broken, this line here. Once this support level was broken, okay, not surprisingly, we have come down. And it's now supported by the next level, which is around the 109.60 or so. Okay, now daily chart has made a new lower low. It is a downtrend. It is in a downtrend. The question right now is, is it the best place to short? Anybody? So this is a daily chart. You know that this is very good support. Okay, so my question to you right now is, is the price right where we are right now a good place to short? Okay, I got mostly no. All right, now let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look. So if you see the four hour chart, right? Okay, so if you see the four hour chart. Now, right now, okay, the four hour chart is still in a downtrend. You can see that lower low and low high. It's still in a downtrend. All right, and then if you see your MACD, okay, you got lower high, you got higher high here. So it's still a bearish divergence, and there's still a possibility that it might come down. Okay, now, one thing you can infer is that if you are going to short now, it's still a possible trade plan, but you must be very, very wary that the strong support here is around the 109.60, 109.70. Okay, because daily is still downtrend. If you go to uh, eight hour chart, for example, it's also in a downtrend, and if you go to a four hour chart, it's also in a downtrend. All right. So the first trade, first trade plan that is possible is that if you're planning to take a short here, okay, it's still resistance, not the strongest resistance, but you your first target would definitely need to be around the one hundred nine seventy, one hundred nine eighty area, just because your daily chart, the support level here is so strong. Okay, just so strong, but we might make a move down back to this support level before. It pushes up again, so it's a possible short. It's a possible short, but you need to know that it's more of an intraday kind of trade plan. Okay, intraday kind of trade plan, and you need to be very careful about the one now one hundred nine seventy and one hundred nine eighty area. Okay, on a shorter term kind of thing. So you see, you need to plan based on different time frames, and based on different time frames, you have different expectations and profit targets. All right. So this euro dollar. Um, where's the H one? Let me see. So John say H one has a Positive divergence. Let me have a quick look. I don't see any um, divergence, John. Lower low. I mean, the H1. You can see that this is a bit toppish here. Okay, and it's starting to turn over. But I don't see any divergence. Oh, H4. Sorry. Oh, I I know what you're talking about. You mean this divergence, right? So the higher low on the MACD, a lower low. Okay. In the sense, this divergence to me has uh, played itself out, because this divergence was here, and because of this divergence, it actually went up, which is why I'm looking more towards the highs now. So you can see lower highs here, okay, but higher high here. So this is actually a bearish divergence. This divergence we're talking about, yes, it has played itself out, and the four-hour has so-called retraced the upside already. You, you get me? So I'm always looking for the latest um, swings to identify divergence. All right, but there's a chance that we might come back down to test this little level, well, 10971980 area. And it depends on your um, trade planning. Okay, that's euro dollar for you, but it has been consolidating for quite long. But pay attention. Once this, once this 10960, 10970 level breaks, breaks clearly, right? Then there's a really, really high chance that we are going back to the 108 level, which is now level support. Okay, but it seems that the daily downtrend is going to start. We'll see whether there's enough legs for it to be pushed downwards. All right, so be very mindful of the um, euro dollar, uh, 10960, 10970 area. Okay, 
So that's um, euro dollar for you. Let's go to pound. The pound is super bearish for the past few weeks, yeah. Okay, so if we look at the pound, weekly chart, clear downtrend. Daily chart, clear downtrend. Four-hour chart, mm, not as clear as anymore. Okay, but what it's trying to do is very likely we are trying to make a push to the next level of resistance around the one two three zero zero level. All right, in fact we touch it already. Anywhere between the one two three zero zero to the one two three three zero level, that is resistance. Okay, but you can see at the four hour the momentum to the downside is slightly waning already. You see here resistance for most probably will come back here. Okay, once we are back at this resistance level, then you, there's a chance that we might roll over and come back down here. But you, once we are here, right, this level here, you want to go down to the lower term time frame to see whether there's a change of trend to the downside. Okay, because don't forget the daily chart is still very bearish. Very bearish. Okay, am I surprised that it make a bounce up? Not really. Not really. Now, why I said that is because even before today's rally here, right, let me just delete some lines. So for me, when I look at the trend, I like to trade on markets whereby the daily and four hours of downtrend. So I like all the pound pairs for the past one, two weeks because both are really very bearish, the daily and four hour. Okay? But I'm also very aware whenever a four hour chart shows a bit of a double bottom here. It shows that there might be a retracement to high level of resistance before the market wants to fall. Okay, so you can see the forward is entering a period of consolidation. Key level to look out for is about the one, two, three, the one, two, three, two, zero to see where the market roll over and start coming down again. Okay, so if you see the reference point again, the daily chart, you can see that it's very, very, still very bearish. I mean, look at the uh, steepness of the moving average, um, the the momentum of it. You can see the gaps between the two moving average, so it's still looking bearish to the downside. All right, just be mindful of the resistance that you're looking out for. Yep. But you see most of the chart, so that's the daily chart. If you look at the eight-hour chart, okay, you can see that it's also bearish, and the resistance is around here, this level here, around the one, two, three, the one, two, three, two, zero. Okay, just pay attention to that. Now, some of you might ask if I see that the four hours, since I see that the four hours is actually bottoming out. Why didn't I go long? Why right, do, do you guys think there's a valid trade? So let's say if you think that four hours bottom me up, why didn't I buy it here and trade it upwards? But the answer is that I didn't. I wouldn't do it because my answer is that I only trade. I tr I most more often than not I only trade the trend. I tried counter trend trading a few times. It's just not my cup of tea. All right, and and on hindsight is definitely. It's definitely easy, correct? You say that, oh, triple bottom, then go up. But trend trading is so much easier. And sometimes trading is a game of psychology. And even though if, if you're not used to counter-trend trading, I, I did try counter-trend trading a couple of times, and sometimes I still do stupid things, so it's just not my cup of tea. I, I choose to rather just totally stay out, stay out of counter-trend. It makes it so much simple. When it comes to trading, I really believe in KISS, keep it simple, stupid. Okay, so... I just follow the trend. If it's downtrend, I look for pullbacks, look for resistance, enter short. If it's uptrend, I look for pullbacks, look for support, and enter long. Okay, I try not to be too smart. And I try to just follow what I know best, which is trend trading. Okay, so pound dollar, look out at this potential res resistance level for the downtrend to continue. Yeah, now, I have a client that I spoke to today, and... Um, he wanted to go short, which he did. Yep, he went short at around, just a case in point. Yeah. Let me see which is the best time frame to show you at. Maybe the one hour. Okay, one hour chart. Okay, so one hour chart, you can see that there's this big fat consolidation here, and these are the two resistance that we're looking at. Okay, so he went short somewhere here. All right, and I told him that, okay, intraday, it looks like, it looks like it's turning up. And it turned up, okay? And once we got to here, because during the uh, pre-London session, the resistance was um, probably around the 12260, 12270 area. Okay, somewhere here. That was a pre-London period. So he went short here. 
Okay, so I see that be prepared because you can see that the one hour is showing signs that it wants to go up, right? Okay, and it did come down and he was a profit. And when he moved up, right, he still kept the short, which is still possible. But at that point of time, at 4.30 p.m., there was UK news. I think it was the CPI numbers. And it begs the question of whether he should take the small loss because after it went up. Also, the, it begs the question whether he should take the small loss or try to write the luck of the news. And I, I, and I told him that when it comes to news, it's 50-50. And if you ask me, my preference is to get out first. Okay, I'd rather take a 5-10 pips loss than let the news go against me totally. And now, based on hindsight, of course, we know that the news made it shoot up slightly, about 20 pips or so. And then now it's struggling again. Okay, so when it comes to news, it's quite tricky to manage sometimes, but you need to take away the emotions. And of course, if you're lucky, you know, you, you can take advantage of it. But trading is not about playing with luck. It's about, it's about managing your psychology and using the strategy that you have to give you the edge in the market, isn't it? So right now, I can say that the news pushed it higher because the CPI data was better than expected. But I'm looking at the next level of resistance before I'm looking for uh, trades to the short side. Anywhere between 1, 2, 3, to 1, 2, 3, 2, 0. Okay? And I always mention this on my webinars. Okay? I can give you the highest probab probability setups tonight. But the next morning or even the same night, if a news, uh, if a news is up, if there's upcoming news release, right, it can change the whole analysis. So you've got to be equipped on how to analyze your own and not just follow uh, a trade idea that I give. Okay, so news is a very important thing to watch out for. Okay, so that's a uh, pound dollar for you. Any other currency pairs that you want me to cover? Okay, uh, EuroCat, KiwiCat, Aussie dollar. Okay, sure thing. Sure thing, Yasir. All right, let's talk about KiwiCat. Interesting pairs you have, but I love all these cross currencies. So let's, let's dive into that. Okay, so let's go KiwiCat. Let's start from a weekly chart, okay? I've not seen this pair for some time, so let's start from the top. Ba -ba -bum. Okay, so let's see. We have little resistance here, around 96 cents. Support here. Cool, weekly chart uptrend. Okay, high, 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 low, high, 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 low. Right now, we are at support. So weekly chart looks good to the upside. Daily chart, hmm, daily chart is a bit different. Okay, so daily chart for me is to the downside, but it is supported at around 93 cents. Okay, it is supported at around 93 cents. What I like about the daily chart is this little bullish engulfing candle. See here? So you can see that this candle, there's a chance that, all right, there's a chance that uh, it might push higher. So daily chart is not that clear, but let's plan the trade based on the weekly chart. Because based on the weekly chart, um, we are near the strong support at 193 cents. Okay, and it seems that it wants to push back to the high level of 195.60. Okay, so you say, what are you, what kind of trader are you looking for? Intraday setups or more towards swing positions? Uh, yeah, it's, it's medium term, I was thinking shorting around 95 area. Okay, so you're looking for more medium term. Medium term, I assume, a couple of days, yeah? Okay, let's see what that can. Okay, so this is a, oops, sorry. Okay. So this is a little four hour chart that we have here. Now you want to short at around 95. Okay, cool. Let me just have a quick look. Resistance, resistance. Now, so daily chart right now is in a downtrend. Okay, we are entering, we are at a level of resistance. The first level of resistance we are looking at is around the 94.40 area. And the level you're looking at is 195, correct? Okay. So, let's plan something with four hour chart then. Okay, um, 95 cents area, uh, if I were to plan the short, right, I'll be looking at this area right now, around 94.30, 94.40. Okay, the four hours is a bit consolidating, right, but you can see that there's a little channel resistance around here, there's also a horizontal resistance around the 94.30, 94.40 area. So, what you want to look out for is at this level, which is where we are right now, if the 15-minute chart shows signs of coming down, then what you can target is back to the previous low, 
around here. Okay, 95 cents is still a bit high because if you look at the um, four-hour chart, right, if it breaks above 95, right, all right, it's actually on uptrend. And then you got to wait and see what happens 95 cents. If you go to the daily chart, 95 cents is somewhere here. Okay, so 95 cents will be somewhere here. And if it if it does go up nine five cents, most probably I, I wouldn't call it it is a bit more consolidating already. Okay? But just be mindful of the weekly chart. The weekly chart is still in a uptrend. It's still in an uptrend. Alright, so I prefer to trade when the daily and the four hour is telling the same thing. Right now the daily and four hour is telling a bit a different story. So daily is still in a downtrend. Four hour is sideways to uptrend. Okay, so I'll be, be a bit a bit patient. But the resistance I'm looking at, if you're planning to short, is around 94.30 uh, first before I look at 95. Okay, I mean, if you ask me a preference, I wouldn't really touch this pair because the daily and four hours a bit mixed. It's a bit mixed to me. All right, I like things that are very flowing, just like the pound pairs. All right, let's go to EuroCAD. Now, EuroCAD was a very, very interesting trade. Okay, for me, the trade has already happened. Can't do much now. And thank you for bringing out Eurocat because um, I was I was very keen to take the trade, but I missed it. And you can see that now the daily chart. You see this level of support here, this line here. Now you notice that it was consolidating, and it broke this support level, especially when it broke the 1.460, right? Right, this level here when it broke. Okay. The downtrend is definitely there because it's a new lower low, and if you look at the um, if you look at the cheat sheet that I have, right, the lower low is very key. See the second one, the second example. So definitely a new lower low. Now I was looking for all sorts of entry here because I was I I saw a nice change to downtrend. I missed this whole downtrend, but yesterday. So my my bias for daily chart is bearish already. So when I went to four hour chart last night, okay, this was a chance to get in on it. Look at this little of course again on hindsight is so easy, isn't it? But I can see it's such a beautiful this was a key support, this blue line. Came down, I missed this pullback, came all the way down, I missed this pullback as well. Okay, but this was a brilliant, really, really nice pullback to short side. Alright, and this is exactly what I mean when I say that the daily chart it's in the same direction as a four-hour chart, all right? And you can see that. Let me see whether the lines are right here. Okay, if you look at the daily chart, right? You can see that there's multiple level of resistance, support, support, and not surprising why you back from here. Okay, now you can see. So daily is downtrend when you broke the support. Four-hour was also in a downtrend. You see this? And when it pulled back up, this was a brilliant setup. So, uh, Yase, I hope you see a difference between your KiwiCat and the EuroCat. The EuroCat is a typical example of a trade that I would look out for because both are staying in the same direction. Okay, I, I missed this trade, but this is really my bread and butter kind of trading. Very simple, very straightforward kind of uh, trending setup. Okay, now right now, I'll be a bit more cautious if you're planning to short. Because if you look at the weekly chart, number one, there's support. Okay, is that weekly support? Number two, look at the daily chart. And if you draw a line across, okay, you can see there is support up ahead as well. Alright, and I just and I just like to short when the daily moving average is quite far away from the candle the, from the current price. More, more often than not, you'll make a bigger pullback. Okay, so the trip plan was yesterday with UK. I missed it. On hindsight, it looks damn easy, uh, but it is what it is. Yep. And if you look at the MACD on the four-hour chart, I can see a lower low on the price, a potential higher low on the MACD. So it's a potential bullish divergence. Okay. So you will just be uh, be a bit careful. Um, I'm bearish, but there's no trip plan right now. The trip plan was yesterday. Okay, yes, sir. Um, but, but, but what's next? Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar, big fat consolidation. Okay, I'm not sure which fortnight, which uh, webinar I covered Aussie dollar, but I was looking at this, and it's still within this consolidation. This is a weekly chart. Okay, weekly chart. 
ascending triangle and we are near the apex of it so a breakout is going to happen soon okay and uh, look at the daily chart right this little trend line is very nice as well now I did mention in one of the webinar seminars that if you look closely on the daily chart we were somewhere here when it broke this support right okay the reason why I drew this circle is because I was saying that when you book this support chances are you might come back down to this trend line it did exactly what I said and then now it bounced up from the trend line and it's moving up so right now Aussie dollar I'm going to stay on the sidelines because we're getting tighter and tighter in the apex of triangles there's nothing much to trade okay but the previous trade plan I was talking about is this, this trend line I drew here let me just delete this sorry okay so this trend line I drew here support 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 pullback this was a slightly bigger pullback and then it just came down from here and then this was the trend line support that's why it kept, came up here so right now Aussie dollar yes short term is a bit more bullish but not my cup of tea because my four hour is bullish is at resistance my daily is sideways so for me no trade okay um, okay Sunni you want dollar cat right Zuping you have your hands raised any you have any questions I hope that's helpful yes sir but I mean I just want to give you my perspective of uh, how, how I um, how I see trades I don't chase trades I mean I, I look for easy setups to to join I'm not saying that your Kiwi cat there's no setup there's probably a setup there but just not my cup of tea okay there's a bit too much uh, conflict between the four hour and uh, and, uh, and the daily chart yep I like things easy okay um, so dollar cat now let's take a look at the weekly chart okay weekly chart interesting weekly chart is an uptrend supported by this little trend line here in fact it looks like a bit of a consolidation okay now mind it's still a bit of an uptrend because of the series of high lows one two three four see that okay so weekly is on an uptrend let's go to the daily chart right now okay let's see what's happening I think there's a little trend line going on here okay now the daily chart let me just draw some support lines right the daily chart is, is on the downtrend because this low was broken okay what it might do is that it might rally up a bit and then come down to this little 1.3 support trend line area okay but you can see that it has been very toppish I mean it tried a false breakout over here but it's been very toppish and now it's reversing to the downside chances are it might come back up and then drop to the support trend line okay so daily chart for me is a downtrend let's go to four hour chart okay four hour chart also the downtrend see lower low low high low 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 high and you can see that it's broken out from this little uh, trend line okay so this um, this was a very actually okay on hindsight seems very simple right but this was a very nice uh, trade to the short side especially when it broke from this support level here this trend line support level okay but that doesn't matter um, it's coming down right now definitely not a good place to short but pay attention when it moves back up maybe it might drop further again okay um, but daily chart is on the downtrend okay the only thing that the weekly chart is still on an uptrend daily chart is definitely a downtrend let me just clear this around okay so what you want to do is let it pull back the key level they where you look up for so you know is um, here one three one two oh or so okay this one trend because if it breaks above it it might be reversing to the upside okay but this level here 13120 is a key level you look out for because if it's going to drop this next level is going to drop again and then might drop down to that uh, support trend line that drew in the daily chart okay but it seems quite bearish on most of the time frames right now except the weekly chart so just be mindful of that all right uh oh, you have a bullish bias of 1.3 okay is it based on the trend line ah 1.3 Oh, your your bullish buy one point three. Yeah, I mean one point three looks definitely a stronger support. But right now it seems I'm looking more towards the bearish side. Oh, weekly chart. Okay, okay. Thanks for clarifying. Um, where's my one point three and my weekly chart? Okay, now one point three is a decent level, not the clearest, not the clearest, but it's a decent level. Um, I would say that this little channel is the reference point for the weekly chart right now. Even if you want to buy on 1.3, right? I think it's better to wait for a four-hour change of trend upside before you enter the trade. 
before you enter the trade because how I see right now okay how I see right now is that it's coming down still the momentum for medium term still downside so while your weekly chart your weekly bias is still pretty on the, on the longer term side because based on weekly chart let it fall to 1.3 which is good support I agree with you but let the 4 hour change to the trend upside first before um, looking to buy it okay because right now the 4 hour is still on a downtrend and we have somewhere to go before 1.3 I'm looking more towards the short side actually when it comes back near the 1.3 or so okay Sunil alright any other trades before I wrap up today's session Anyway, thanks for thanks for um, asking thanks for asking questions again. Like, if you have any pairs, it's always good to cover it. Okay, it's always good to bring it up so that we can cover it together. I mean, if 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 upfront I tell you that this particular pair is no trade, I'll say there's no trade because I don't like things that are so messy, really. And and Sunil, I mean, I agree, John Sunil. Dollar cap to me is a bit messy. All right. It, again, the euro cat example that I show you and all the pound pairs the past few weeks, these are kind of trades that you want to pick because it's really, really very straightforward. Yep, I do like to second guess the market. I want crystal clear ones. I call it the lazy trades for lazy people like me. Um, okay, so this is gold and you can see that it is bearish, definitely bearish when it broke down. Okay, for this, I don't think any of you, if you, if you are a pullback trader like me, you might have not gotten any opportunity here. It just literally drop because of news. Okay. Definitely bearish on daily chart. No two ways about it. Alright, now if you look at the 4-hour chart consolidation, you can see that this is the resistance here and support here. Okay, definitely consolidation. Now, if you look at the sorry, let's go to weekly chart now. Slightly high time frame. Okay, now weekly chart to me is also bearish already because of all these lows that has been broken. Okay, but if you look for support now, let's see where support. Okay, the support is around the one two five zero level for gold. Okay, one two five zero. Now daily chart one two five zero is definitely support as well. Now what I'm looking for is I'm still bearish based on daily chart. Okay, four hour chart is still a bit more sideways. Okay, so there's a chance that we might retrace to a high level, maybe around 1275, 1270 before coming down again. But the levels of this I'm looking at if I'm playing to short is the 1265 level, which is the previous resistance, and around the 1270 level. Okay, because right now it's just sideways definitely sideways okay I don't see any divergence yet so let me go to the 8 hours okay it's just consolidating okay so I'm just looking again let me go back to 4 hour I'm looking at the 1265 level and I'm also looking near the 1270 1275 level before I take it down again because to me the daily chart still looks pretty pretty bearish it's just that it might make a bigger retracement. Okay, how do I know whether the market is coming down from which level? Nobody will know. I'll have a crystal ball. But what I do know is, once it gets to the key resistance levels, I'm going to wait for my 15-minute time frame to show signs that it wants to come down. Then I join the downtrend. If the 15 minutes or one hour show signs that it's still going up, even though I'm bearish, I'll just be patient and wait. Okay? <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Alright, I'll do big. You want to go Dex it? Um, okay, I'll do a quick one Dex because you missed it, right? So basically, a Dex, I'm saying that it looks slightly bullish because of the high lows form and this nice support trend line. I want you to pay attention around the 10,650 to 10,700 level. If it breaks nicely the upside, most probably there are more legs to the upside to 10, 8, or even 11,000. So a Dex, be patient. Let it break up first. But the momentum seems to be on the upside. Okay. Alright, if not again, once again, thank you so much for coming by for tonight's session. Um, the next one is in two weeks' time. Uh, this session will be recorded and uploaded to the website as usual. So as uh, always, always check the news. Okay, technical analysis is as good as it lasts. If the news can change the things altogether. Alright, but whatever it is, try to trade the, the trend because it's so much easier. Uh, and always plan the trade and trade your plans. Alright, have a good night. Thank you everyone. Cheers.